Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. ABCD is a trapezium. Diagonals AC and BD meet at E. Areas of triangle ABE and triangle CDE are 18 and 8 squared units of length. What is the area of trapezium ABCD? So for solving this question, we'll first start with a more basic determination of what is the area of a trapezium. So a trapezium is basically a, a quadrilateral where two of the sides in this particular case, AB and CD are parallel to each other. So, how do you find the area of the trapezium in the first place? So, the area of the trapezium ABCD can be basically written as a sum of the areas of triangles ABD and triangle CBD. And for finding areas of triangles, we need to you know, draw their altitudes. So for triangle ABD, we draw the altitudes so that's indicated by that orange line. And we can also draw an altitude for triangle CBD, considering CD as the base of the triangle, we drop a perpendicular from B to DC, to the base DC, and we need to extend out the base a little bit for the perpendicular to meet that base. But basically, we have these two orange lines as the altitudes of these two triangles. And since AB and DC are parallel to each other, these altitudes should be also equal. So let's call each of them as h. So what's the area of triangle ABD? Well, the area of triangle ABD is half multiplied by base AB multiplied by altitude h. So half multiplied by AB multiplied by h. And similarly for triangle CBD, its area is half multiplied by CD multiplied by h. So that's the area of the trapezium. From here on, the next step, and we, we basically consider triangles ABE and CDE. If we look at the corresponding angles of these two triangles that are marked in blue, those two angles are equal. Why? Because those two angles are alternate angles formed by the intersecting line BD with the parallel lines AB and DC, respectively. And pretty much the same thing for the two corresponding angles, the triangles that are marked in red. Those two angles are also alternate angles and they should be equal. So we have two corresponding angles of triangle ABE and triangle CDE being equal, so that makes these two triangles similar. Let's draw one more thing, which would be, you know, a perpendicular from the point E to AB, and let's extend out that perpendicular so that it meets AB and CD at points P and Q respectively. Now, since AB and CD are, are parallel lines, so the perpendicular drawn from E to AB when extended out to meet DC will be also perpendicular to, to DC, right? Because it's the lines DC and AB being parallel and 
EP being perpendicular to AB, when it's extended out to meet DC, it will also be perpendicular to DC. So that makes EP the altitude of triangle AB considering AB as the base. And similarly, that makes QV the altitude of triangle CDE considering DC or CD as the base of the triangle. And let's call the lengths of these segments uh, PE as P, small p, and uh, QV as small q. So now we will basically consider the, the properties of similar triangles. So from similarity of these two triangles ABE and CDE, we know that the, the ratio of areas of similar triangles will be equal to the ratio of the corresponding sides whole square, meaning the square of the ratio of the corresponding sides. And in this case, we have taken AB and CD as the two corresponding sides from triangles ABE and triangle CDE. So we can write triangle ABE by triangle CDE. So these are the ratio of the areas of those two triangles will be equal to AB by CD whole square. Further, we know that in, in similar triangles, not only the corresponding side ratios are equal, but that ratio will be also equal to the ratio of their altitudes. So we can write AB by CD simply as P by Q. And that makes AB by CD whole square P by Q whole square. And that's the ratio of the areas of triangles ABE and CDE. But we know that triangle ABE, its area is 18, so that's given. Triangle CDE, its area is 8, so that makes the ratio 18 by 8. And if we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, we get the ratio is 9 by 4 in its simplest form. From here, we can write P by Q as simply 3 by 2. So we just take the square root of 9 by 4. It's simple. Uh, the ratio comes as 3 by 2. And now... Furthermore, we know that since AB and CD are parallel and then PEQ, basically the straight line PEQ drawn through E, so, so the length of the line PQ should be equal to the height of the trapezium, height H, right? So P plus Q taken together should equal height h. We also know that p is equal to 3 by 2 multiplied by q because p by q is 3 by 2. So that allows us to express p in terms of q as p is equal to 3 by 2 multiplied by q. So we just do that substitution here and we get 3 by 2 q plus q is equal to h. And from this one, it's easy to solve. For Q, we get 5 by 2Q is equal to H, from which we obtain Q is equal to 2 by 5H. And we can also obtain from this P in terms of H. So P becomes 3 by 5 multiplied by H. So from here on, I will clean up some of these to make room, but let's carry over some of the important results. First of all, this is important. The area of trapezium, that's the quantity that we are asked to find out, is equal to half multiplied by AB multiplied by height H plus half multiplied by CD multiplied by the height H. Further, we have found out what P and Q are in terms of H, which is important. So P is equal to 3 by 5 multiplied by H, and Q is equal to 2 by 5 multiplied by H. So now we consider what's the area of triangle ABE. Well, it's half multiplied by its base AB 
multiplied by all t cubed p so half multiplied by a b multiplied by p and we have expressed p in terms of h as p equal to 3 by 5 h so we just substitute that here and we get area of triangle a b e is equal to half multiplied by a b multiplied by 3 by 5 h and this is equal to 18 so that's given in the problem and from this we can obtain half a b multiplied by h as 18 multiplied by 5 by 3 which comes to 30. so if we notice we have got the first term in the area of the trapezium half multiplied by a b multiplied by h so all we need to do from here on is to obtain the second term which is half multiplied by cd multiplied by h and then we can add the two together to get the area of the full trapezium so for obtaining the second term we consider the area of triangle cde so that can be written as again half multiplied by base cd multiplied by altitude q and we have obtained what q is in terms of h so q is equal to 2 by 5 h so we just make the substitution and this quantity is equal to 8 as given the problem so from here we can simply write half cd multiplied by h is equal to 8 multiplied by 5 by 2 so that comes to 20 so we have got the second term as well in the area which is half multiplied by cd multiplied by h and then for finding the area of the whole trapezium we simply add these two terms up so that becomes 30 plus 20 equal to 50. so the correct answer in this case will be option b 50.